Hey, what's up? Welcome back. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. If not, well, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But yeah, in this video, I'm going to be completing the drawing that I made for the last video. I had started on this piece and I want to complete it. Also, show you guys uh, some snippets of how my week went, but it's pretty much the same. I told you guys on the last video that my weeks, <laughs> like it, it's rare that you can distinguish them apart from the drawings that I make. But my days are pretty much the same now that I'm not going to school. The days just look the same. In the last video, I had intended to give you guys a reason why I made, I chose this particular subject to draw. Basically, it's uh, <coughs> excuse me. Basically, it's Marcus Aurelius. He was a stoic guy, and basically, if you think about stoicism, or if you Google stoicism, then the first image you will see is Marcus Aurelius. He wasn't the founder or originator, but he was. I would argue he was the, one of the most famous people who pushed for stoicism. He was a, an emperor, emperor, so it was kind of interesting for people to see him practice what he preached. Basically, stoicism is based on the fundamental principle that you can't control everything. But what you can control is your internal state of being. So you kind of have to remain unbothered about anything that's beyond your control. I haven't yet fully explored the realm of stoicism, but I'm aware that it does not only focus on your internal state of being, but also about virtue, leadership, wisdom, how you go about interacting with other people and basically it's about how to live a fulfilling life i think it's an interesting mm. philosophy especially for people in the creative field where there's a lot of things that happen that might be beyond your control and you kind of have to at some point you kind of have to surrender and just <laughs> be confident in your abilities and trust that everything will work out eventually and that's not an easy place to be that's why i think we should all try to explore the realm of stoicism when i was younger i used to see people with headphones on like this and <laughs> i used to think they're really cool people you know it kind of looks sophisticated, but it's just something normal. Once you grow up, you get to learn. It's nothing really special. But anyway, I came from my daily walk. I incorporated the habit of walking around 15k steps plus. And I started last week. And so far it's been going great. I want to reduce my body fat by some percentages. And that's how I've been working and doing other exercises. So I want to start on this part of the drawing. It's the beard. Ideally, it's supposed to look like the hair, the, the curly texture. And I'm supposed to work on the beard and complete it this week so that I can upload the video. Uh, it's going to be, it's not going to be as challenging because I already figured out how to work on the hair. So it's kind of like a similar process. The only thing I haven't mapped out the, the curls. That's how I, I work. I don't put too much detail in the beginning phases of my drawing. So I just put the general outline and then I figure out stuff as I go. So I made a reel the other day talking about how 
I use grids and I use grids in a weird way where I just get the basic outline and then I kind of freehand or freestyle the rest of the drawings as you see in the clips and it's it's a destructive way to work because <laughs> you kind of eliminated the purpose of the grid you abandon the grid essentially and it may not be comfortable to people who are not confident yet even for me i used to make my outline super detailed but then as you get comfortable you kind of abandon the grid and you just go freehand with the thing so as i mentioned i started walking and exercising and it's been an interesting experience because it teaches you so much about consistency and discipline but at the same time being an artist who is trying to figure out his way in the creative field it's an interesting experience where you feel like you're falling behind like i'm not putting in like there's two hours in a day that i'm specifically taking out in order to exercise and to walk and it kind of feels like you're falling behind and i'm well aware that taking time to focus on your health and your fitness is not time wasting but you kind of feel that way especially in the in the beginning where you're walking or exercising but you're not seeing any changes so you're like if i use this time to do my other art stuff then i would have seen results but it kind of teaches you to stick with it and just with consistency you will eventually see the benefits of what you're doing so it's been interesting incorporating that to my week and i'm planning i'm not planning to stop anytime soon even though every time i do it there's that push but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed some of the insights I shared in this video and also the drawing. I think it came out really nice and I like it. But let me know what you think and I'll see you guys on the next week.